Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Eric, and welcome to a Adobe After Effects giveaway. In today's video, I'm going to be giving away a bunch of Adobe After Effects presets. There's about 80 presets in this pack, and they range from like Anakin Jones and stuff. From like, there are there are combinations for if you're like a uh, video game editor, like. Uh, play Call of Duty or any Call of Duty videos or construct videos or whatnot, then like you can put this after the kill uh, that is like after the kill that is made in the video. Uh, just has blurs, uh, co color corrections. I'm not going to be giving the way giving these away just now. Maybe in a future video if anyone wants. Uh, glows, mirror, nothing special. Just presets so it's easily accessible and usable ripple effects tv and data glitch effects allow these ones uh, waves wiggles audio pay there's like a lot of stuff here and then i also have like a folder with the main effects that you use they can see here like the bars effect is this one that you is placed on the black solid to just uh, right click on a blank space like uh, let's say you don't have any of these Okay, no, I'm not gonna get it, so I'm just gonna preview this because I was supposed to show you guys a preview of all, uh, these effects and I'll show you that before I do anything else <laughs> because I pre-rendered it pre -render just a moment ago Okay, I'm going to pre-render it again Okay, so these are the... this is what you get if you just put the bars and the everything effect so bars, yeah, to create a new adjustment, uh, sorry, um, solid, and make sure it's black, and then just drag on the bars effect on it, and like I recommend that you put it at the very top, like move at the highest point. Or what am I saying? Like move, move it at the top of all of the layers, so it's covering everything. And then the everything uh, effect or the presets has like the flicker switch, sharpen, uh, transform, wiggles, um, aspect ratio, and real smart motion blur. You might have to, uh, if you don't have the plugin, you might, might need like to download Misfire, Misfire, and I think real smart motion blur, I'm not sure. But you were probably going to be missing some plugins if you just started out using After Effects and you don't have any plugins. Uh, but yeah, it's really easy, easy to use these blur, uh, blur <laughs> presets. Just drag the preset onto a adjustment lane to then create the adjustment lane by the same way that I create the solid. Uh, yeah, the solid. Um, just right click on a blank space, click on new, and then click on a adjustment layer and yeah then just drag the preset onto the layer and that's it um, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys uh, any of these I, I guess I should because you should, then you can kind of expect like you, you kind of know what to expect from this pack before you download it um, maybe that I glitch I didn't create any adjustment layer. I'm gonna create that. And let me throw up a data glitch effect. Oh, apparently I'm missing the plugin now. Which is weird because I downloaded the plugin just today. Okay, I guess I messed something up with my plugins. I'm not going to be able to show, show you guys that, but don't worry if you have the plugin, then it should work. Um, just going to show you guys. Some of, uh, one of these, uh, I guess. Yep, like I love, I love the TV effects. Like they're really good looking. This one is a trippy one, I think. This was, yeah, looks really cool. Um, that's gonna show you guys. Um, I have some blurs here. The after shot like combinations. I cannot remember all of them uh, from the top of my head. Yeah, it's like 
uh, has the RGB and it's like doing some stuff. Um, oh, it's this one. Okay. It turns like into a black and white thing. Yeah. So like this. Most of my effects are like black and white or really colorful. Color, uh, color, uh, colorful. <laughs> and yeah. Really cool. Trippy and stuff. Maybe uh, I will find this one. Just one effect that I want. So joke. This one. This looks really trippy. I think it's this how you use it. Uh, or maybe it's by duplicating this layer and then put it on to the clip and then put the clip to overlay. I think it's this way. I'm not sure I have used this in a long time. Yeah, maybe. Something like this. Like a trippy effect, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, what else can I show you guys? I don't want to show them all. I don't have time to wait for that, anyways. Um, so, when they do this one, I'm going to upgrade the adjustment layer again. So basically if you use the everything effect then I uh, recommend that you put like black solid here at the very top then the adjustment layer with the everything effect just under the um, black solid with the black bars so the black bars have to cover everything or else they can look like really weird and then like if you use a color correction put this above the everything um, layer so pretty much if this layer 7 uh, was a color correction put this between the black bar uh, layer and also the um, everything layer so this is like the color correction and then it's just the rest uh, down here uh, at least that's how I do my stuff I'm um, going to show you guys one more I think I don't want to make this too long I already, I already recorded this and it was kind of too long, too long. Um, the screen flashes, I like this one, I use this in my grid edit if you saw, if you, any of you saw that I think it's this one I, I think I set my layer blending style to something I know, no, it's wrong, okay I don't know. It's supposed to be like colors like flashing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> it gives them one more. Um, what's this one? I'm not even sure what I have here. I just cleaned out it today. I'm not sure. And I think I messed up some of these. So yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like, yeah, yeah, hey, this one works. Like this cliche effect. I use this in my pre to edit as well. Yeah, I use these effects a lot. But that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show you guys anymore. If you want to check out uh, all of these, then just download the uh, preset pack from the description box down below. Uh, if you do download it, then please, please click that like button. I show, uh, shows me. Uh, I cannot speak. <laughs> it shows me support and kind of motivates me to do more videos and giveaways. Um, speaking of giveaways and stuff, then you should seriously subscribe. I also try to do these kinds of videos, like giveaways and tutorials, every week. Uh, even though I have missed a couple of times. Uh, but I did do still upload keywords and tutorials when I get. And yeah, so basically, thanks for watching, guys. Download link in the description. If you download, click the like button, or if you don't download, just click the like button, anyways. Leave your suggestions for future tutorials and giveaways down in the su uh, subscribe box, <laughs> uh, down in the comment box, comment section. Yeah, comment section at the box. And yeah, subscribe for more videos. Okay. This has been Eric and I'm out. Ah, cool. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay, bye.